Hi, back out in the shop for another week in the Unscripted series. And this week I'm going to show you how we glue on our bridge. I think it's one of the most interesting and critical parts of the instrument because it, along with a couple other things, is going to determine whether or not the intonation is accurate. Now before we put finish on this instrument, I masked off the bridge. I did that because I didn't want to get finish underneath the bridge and I don't like to put the bridge on before there's finish for a couple reasons. One is it's really tough to get the glue out of the bare wood around the bridge and more importantly it's tough when you've got the bridge down to have the finish look perfectly clean around the bridge. So uh, I masked it off and the nice side effect of that is that in order to mask it off I had to first put the bridge there, I had to measure everything perfectly and know right where the bridge was going to go, but it serves as a little check because now I'm going to do the exact same measurements again, and if it doesn't line up exactly with my mask, then I know somewhere I've mismeasured and I better check it again. So, the first thing I do is I take off the mask. Now, I've already put the nut in the end of the instrument. That's what I'm going to use to check for correct placement. I'm going to put my bridge down and the next thing I do is I use this ruler where I've got it marked exactly where I want the front of the saddle and then I'm going to use this other ruler and the method here doesn't matter what matters is the accuracy and perfection of what you do and I'm going to lay this ruler down on either side of the fretboard and I'm going to measure from the bridge to the last fret uh, just to get a reference point because I want to make sure that bridge is perfectly square and perfectly centered. Okay, you could see me scooch it around a little bit. I've got it exactly centered. I've got it exactly square to the fretboard. It's lined up perfectly with my marks. The intonation is going to be spot on by design. Now, I need to mask around that bridge so that I can put glue down and then clamp on the bridge. I'm going to hold it carefully so it doesn't move. Here we go. Okay, that tape is giving me the perfect alignment to place my bridge after I put glue under it, but you can see the back edge of the bridge is curved. We used to have a rectangular bridge, and then we went to this nice fancy design which required us to spend a lot of money to get these little pieces of tape die cut for us, which fit perfectly on the back of the bridge. I'm going to lay that in there now. Okay, and now I check and I can see that my bridge is right where it was when I taped it off before. I cut about a sixteenth inside the line so I could finish right up under the edge of the bridge. I just press down the edges of that paper or that tape, take my saddle out, and now I'm going to put glue down and clamp it in place. Okay, now we just have to clean up the squeeze out. I'm going to leave that tape on. I'm going to use this nice straw that I've cut with my X-Acto knife at a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to use that to clean up this glue. It's one of the best luthery tricks I know.
Now, inevitably, when you use that straw, a little bit of the glue residue will touch the bridge. So, I've still got the tape on there. Got some water here. I just put a little bit on the tip of my paper towel. And now, I'm gonna wipe that, any residue that I've got off of the bridge. By doing this with the tape on, I make sure I don't get any water or anything else on the instrument. It's all protected. However, if I did, it's not a problem because the instrument already has finish on it. But I just think it gives me the odds of the greatest and cleanest finish by leaving the tape on. All right, now I take the tape off. I'm gonna make sure as I do that no glue leaked under it. I can clean that off with water right now as well. Oh, it's perfect. All right, 24 hours later, we're going to be able to string this instrument. Thanks, and see you next week.